On this video, I'm going to talk about some travel must-haves that you need to know about. I am here in beautiful Gulf Shores and what not a more beautiful place than here to talk about the travel must-haves I've been trying out quite a few different products over the last six months to see if they are good or no good. And today we're talking about those items. So the first thing I want to talk about is an Awala bottle. I have had this bottle probably six or seven months and it has been my favorite. Now I have it in two sizes. Originally I got the bigger whatever ounce, I think it was 40 ounce. I think 40 ounce. <laughs> I originally got it and I really loved it. The only problem is it would not fit in my cup holder in my car and it was just kind of too big for everyday use. So then I bought the smaller one that fits in my cup holder. Now it has been my everyday travel go-to size. Now the other one, when I'm around the house, I use it because I like the size of it. What's cool about this water bottle is you can sip it like a straw or you can gulp it by turning the bottle up. Super easy to clean, it comes apart. Now the only negative that I can tell you about this bottle is if you have ice in there and like I put liquid IV in there and I shake it up, sometimes the straw pops off and I have to open it back up and put the straw back on. But so far, that is the only negative that I've had to that. It holds ice a really long time. I have had it closed up without opening it, and it had, two days later, I had it like sitting on my desk, and I went to go pour it out because I had been using the other one, and it still had ice in it. So it is super insulated, and I have been seeing tons of people on YouTube and different places using this bottle. That was the reason I wanted to grab it and check it out. Now, a great pairing to go with that is I got a water bottle holder that holds your phone and your water bottle so that if you didn't want to carry your purse, you can put a water bottle in there and your cell phone. And it's even got a little bit of room to put like your driver's license or a credit card. I use this a ton Last year when we went to Putacana, just walking around the resort, it was easier to grab that. And then I had water to keep hydrated because we were at an all-inclusive and, you know, probably drinking too much during the day. But in the mornings, I would grab this, carry it with me. All during the day, I would keep the water bottle with me. Now, on the bag that I got, I do want to say the only regret on it is that I got a lighter color. It shows dirt pretty bad, but I have thrown it in the washing machine and it washed. I just did a delicate cycle and I didn't dry it. I've tried out two toiletry bags, so that depending on what kind of packer you are, I would give you a couple of options. I've always had a big toiletry bag and I had found one that I absolutely loved and I had been using it and it was great. But when I wanted to cut weight and go to something smaller, I found another one and it has actually been my go-to. It fits all the things that I need in it and I don't have to worry about it because I'm a what-if packer. It is the perfect size and I buy the little travel bottles and put it in there and that's more than enough for me. I love the little travel bottles that I got and I'm going to link everything in the description box below for you and these are affiliate links. The only thing I hate about the little travel bottles is the stickers that came with it that tells you what's what fall off. I'm gonna end up having to take a permanent marker and writing on it what it is. And it also had like a little scoop for you to take like your day and your makeup and stuff out of a bottle and put them in. It helped a lot getting them in those containers. Now, if you're traveling on a plane, I have another must have. And I guess even if you don't travel on a plane, I think this would be something really good. I have been trying out the air tags. They work really well. 
it helps my anxiety when I'm on a plane to know whether or not anything gets on the plane. Because we were headed, where were we headed to? We were headed to Orlando and the app for the airlines showed that our bag was not on the plane. But I pulled up my air tag and it showed that it was with me. So I was like, okay, is it sitting on the runway or what? When we got to the destination, I pulled it up as soon as we got service and it showed that it was with us. And then finally the app updated and showed that they had shipped it. But I would have been on the plane for the whole time worried. I wouldn't have worried as bad as I would have just seeing it on the app saying that it was not with me. Now, I have to say the AirTag only works when you leave it in your bag because Bill ended up taking it out of his golf bag and when we went to Putacana, we didn't know if it was on the back, it was not on the plane or not. And it ended up missing the plane, but they brought it to us later. But he was like, well, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a keychain." <laughs> so if you put it in your spouse's bag, let them know what it is because Bill took his out. Now I bought a mesh laundry bag, super lightweight, super like packs in the suitcase, great. It hangs up and I have loved having this because that way you're not just piling your dirty clothes on the floor. You can actually stick them in this bag. It has a zipper across the bottom if you wanted to dump them into the washing machine. We haven't done that. I just pack it in. I love having all our dirty clothes in one place and um, I'm really shocked. Bill actually does use it. He, on this trip that we're on now, he was like, hey, did you bring that laundry bag thing so I can put my clothes in it so I know what clothes are dirty? It makes, it makes organization things easy and it doesn't weigh anything because it's mesh. Now you can go to the Dollar Tree and get you a mesh laundry bag as well. I just got this one because originally I bought it to go in the camper, but now I use it to travel. Now, another must-have travel thing, I think either by compression or packing cubes, and I just did a video about the difference between the two, and I will link it up here. I have been loving the cubes over the compression. They just make organizing your clothes while you're traveling so much easier, and you can find what you need quicker than you can if it's just all piled in your suitcase. Now, another thing that I have bought that I have really been enjoying is it's a baby item for travel. Stay with me though. It's not just, they make, I guess it's like a wet bag. I guess if you had cloth diapers and you were using cloth diapers, you would put like the cloth diaper in there. Or if the baby like wet their clothes, you would put them in there and it keeps it from getting anything else wet. I thought I heard thunder. I thought I heard thunder and I'm uh, like almost three miles <laughs> down the beach. <laughs> My goal is to make it to this pier today and I'm really close. So it's a wet bag that I loved it because when we were on the cruise, I took it, put it in my backpack. We would change our clothes and put dry clothes on. Like we would go to the beach, hang out, be wet. And then we wanted to go into town, but I wanted dry clothes on. I am not loving wearing a wet bathing suit. I took mine and Bill's bathing suits and put them in it, zipped it up. I didn't have to worry about it getting anything else in the bag wet. I didn't have to buy a dry bag. These weren't that expensive and they're actually really cute. I also put stuff in it that I don't want to get wet. So like if it was gonna rain, I could stick something in there and not worry about it getting wet. So I think these are like a great dual purpose and it's something that you would not think about. Now this last one is a plug. I got it for the cruise because the plug that I had in my bag, because I always carry like a long cord with the plugs, extra plugs, because one, we're always ch charging camera gear and they never have enough plugs in the room. It looks like it's getting dark. I'm gonna make it to this pier and then I'm gonna turn around and I'll tell it back real quick.
Maybe I won't get wet. Maybe Bill will come get me if it starts pouring down rain. But this plug, because on the cruise ship, you can't use one that has a surge protector. You're not allowed. And my other one did have a surge protector on it. So I bought this plug. I bought the European plug, but it has adapters to make it for US, which on the cruise was perfect because I could plug it into the European plug and still use the American plug and it actually gave me more plugs. But if I ever travel across to Europe and I would have a plug that would work for it and I just bought one plug and it has dual purposes. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helps you. Hopefully it'll find, help you find something that you might need to travel. Till next time, like and subscribe. You know how when you're staying on the beach and you see that pier long off in the distance and you're like, I wonder how long it would take me to walk there? You gotta have goals, because I made it. And it's three miles. The only thing is, it looks like it's about to storm. And I have three miles to walk back.